Hi everyone, it's Vicky here and welcome back to another card making video. Today I will make a really fun card, it is going to be a trifold window card and I'm playing with dice. This is a new set by Spellbinders. It comes with many dice and can be used for different outcomes. For example, you can have ornaments, you can create little scenes with um, the snowbank and uh, the trees. You can create shaker cards, window cards, you can end up with a snow globe. I'm going to show you one way to use this set. However, look what you have at home. I'm sure you can follow these steps and create something similar. So here I have a white letter-sized cardstock in white. I'm going to cut it in half. So the long side at five and a half, I end up with two pieces, which I'm going to score in half. And that's at four and a quarter. So I have two white card bases in a standard size. That's four and a quarter by five and a half. You can use ready-made pre-folded card bases for that. This is the easiest way to create a trifold card. All you need to do is to stick one inside the other. Now the idea is to have windows which are going to be perfectly aligned on those uh, folds and we will be able to see all the way through at the bottom of the card on the inside. So for that I'm going to use one of the circles from the set. If you don't have the set, just use any circle die that you have, place it on top of your card fold, use a piece of washi tape to keep it in place. And then remember, we have two cards, one inside the other at the moment. I'm going to open them up. This way, I will end up with two perfectly aligned windows on the two flaps of the card. Again, I'm using some washi tape to secure them down temporarily so that they don't move while I run them through my die cutting machine. And since I'm using this set today, I'm going for a circle window. And really, you can use any shape for your window. You can have a heart instead of a circle or a star. This is going to give a look and feel of a tunnel book at the end where we will be able to put together the scene as we close the flaps of the card. So this is what you end up with and of course we didn't stick those two together from the beginning otherwise we wouldn't be able to cut out only the circles at the top flap. Now I can go ahead and add some uh, glue and stick them together. And now I will use the dies from the set to cut out different elements so that I can put together a little scene. These are the circles that I cut out from the windows. They shouldn't go to waste, perfect scraps, to cut out my snow banks. I will also cut out a little car that is included. I will use uh, those uh, circle dies one inside the other to cut out a ring with a sentiment at the same time. And I'm using a uh, silver glitter cardstock for that. I also cut out a few trees, I'm putting together the car, it is super easy to do. And you will find that as you cut it out, it does create a slit at the back, so you can easily slide inside one of the trees. On the card that we are going to make, the back is going to show. If you want, you can cut out a second red part and stick it at the back, so it's going to look nice and clean from the back. Now I did die cut another one of those circles. I'm going to ink it up lightly with uh, some Distress Oxide in uh, light blue. This is going to work as my background, as the sky. And in the set there is another die, a big plate, that cuts out lots of holes. So I'm going to run it through the die cutting machine with my background. It's going to turn up looking like snow if you place it on top of white cardstock. And since this is the background of the scene that I'm going to create, it's time to stick it down. I'm going to uh, use the top flap with the window there to align it perfectly on the inside of the card. And I used glue to stick it down. I did use a circle die which is lighter, bigger than the window that I have already cut out. And I used that die to cut out uh, acetate. This is going to provide an area for me to stick different elements on top. I did use that acetate on both of my windows at the back. The glue I used dries clear and it doesn't show that much, it actually disappears. 
so the back doesn't look messy at all, however you can cut out rings and stick it on top of that glue if that bothers you. Now I want to stick that ring with a sentiment on top of the acetate at the front flap along with a snow bag at the bottom, but I want them to be nicely leveled. That's why I'm using the snow bank die at the bottom of my sentiment cutout and I will cut out the bottom. This way when I place those two pieces together, the ring and the snow bank, they are going to fit together like a puzzle and they're not going to stay one on top of the other. I hope that makes sense. I just want to have everything laying flat on top of my acetate. And now it's time to decorate the front flap, for that I'm going to use the car and I did stick an extra red piece at the back to make it look nice and clean and I'm going to stick it down at the front. Now on the second window I'm going to stick down a snow bank I will make sure that it doesn't perfectly align with the top this way I create layers and you can see a little bit when you close the card completely and then I'm going to stick down the trees Again, for all these steps you can cut out a second die cut and stick it at the back of the acetate if you want to cover up any mess of the glue that bothers you. And that's something that I will do at the end. And now finally I'm working on the inside of the card, again adding a few trees, making sure that they don't perfectly align with the rest of the trees. So when you close all the flaps you can see all the three layers and a little scene does come together. I'm going to finish off my card by adding a few gems. This is definitely not one of those cards that you can mass produce since it has a lot of die cutting and putting pieces together, but it is definitely one of those projects that makes the heart of a card maker really happy when it comes together. So this is the part where I'm doing the cleanup as I call it, where I'm sticking pieces at the back to make sure that the glue is not going to show. If you have a set of uh, circle dies, then this is a great way to use them. Create those trifold window cards. Use any die cards that you have to decorate them. It can be adapted for any situation. You can easily add just flowers if you like. On the inside you do have a little space to write a, a short message. But that depends really on the window. If you have a smaller window, you will end up with more space on the inside. And that was my card using the Through the Woods dies from the Christmas Traditions Collection by Spellbinders. I hope that you had fun today, that you got inspired. You will find links to all the products that I used down below in the description area. Thank you all so much for joining me today and I'll see you all next time.